Now sometimes you may have word problems to solve. I'm going to express the word problem verbally. So let's say that the profit of a company can be modeled by the equation 50x minus 0.1x squared plus 300. So P is the profit and X represents the number of units sold. How many units should this company sell in order to maximize profit? Now, if you think of the graph, notice that we have a negative X squared. So this graph should look something like this. There's going to be some X value where the profit is at a maximum. And that's basically the location of the vertex. So if we could find the vertex, we can find the maximum profit and how many units we should sell to attain maximum profit. Now, basically, we have a quadratic function in standard form. So to find a vertex, the best thing to do is to use this equation, negative b over 2a. b is the number in front of x, which is 50. A is the number in front of x squared, which is a negative 0.1. The two negative signs will cancel, so it's 50 divided by 0.2. And that's about 250. So to maximize profit, we want to sell 250 units. That's the x value of the vertex. Now to find the maximum profit, we need to find the y value of the vertex. So basically, we got to take x and plug it back into this equation. So we got to find the profit when x is at 250 uh, units. So let's replace x with 250. Fifty times two fifty, that's equal to twelve thousand five hundred. Two fifty squared times point one, that's sixty two fifty. And if we add these three numbers, the maximum profit is six thousand five hundred and fifty. And that's it. Now the next type of word problem that you might see associated with this chapter is basically projectile motion, which is a physics topic. But you can use algebra to solve certain aspects of it. So let's say that the height of the ball can be modeled by the function h of t, which is 100 plus 30t minus 4.9t squared. Let's say t is in seconds and the height is in meters. 100 represents the initial height, so chances are the ball is kicked off from a cliff. 30 represents the initial velocity. And 4.9 is really the combination of 1 half and the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second. So just some background info on the equation, if you uh, wanted to know. But we really don't need to know that. Most problems of this type will typically ask you, how long will it take for the ball to reach the maximum height? And what is the maximum height? The equation that you need is this, negative b over 2a. But here's a picture if you want it. So let's say that's the cliff. And here's the ball. It goes up, and then it goes down. So we want to find the time it takes to reach the maximum height. How long does it take to get from point a to point b? And we want to find the maximum height which is the distance between point B and ground level, which we'll call point C. The initial height, which is basically the height of the cliff or the height of the building, that's 100. So now let's use this equation. So B is the number in front of T, that's 30. A is the number in front of T squared, which is negative 4.9. So it's going to be negative 30 divided by negative 9.8, which is 2 times 4.9. So it's going to take about 3.061 seconds to reach the maximum height. Now, to find the maximum height, which is the y value of the vertex, by the way, this is the x value of the vertex, let's take this answer and plug it into the height equation. So h of 
zero six one. That's a hundred plus thirty times three point zero six one minus four point nine times three point zero six one squared. 3.061 times 30, that's about positive 91.83. And then negative 4.9 times 3.061 squared, that's negative 45.912. So now let's combine everything. So the final answer is 145. Point nine two. So that is the maximum height. And it's going to be in meters.